This is going to be the first time that I ever watched an Olympic basketball game with the women in it. The first time. You got the same women from last time. I don't want to see them. They didn't want how many gold medals in a row? Seven. They didn't want seven gold medals in a row. You mean to tell me you couldn't put this one girl? You, you, should, you could have put Angel out there. You know what you could have done? You could have scrapped this whole damn team and put the all-star team out there because they the ones that look like they the winners. They look like they the A-team, not y'all. Y'all look tired. Their mission was to go out there and beat y'all ass. So you know what that means? That team is hungry. They are hungry, they're young, and they're competitive. And if they're willing to go and do anything they got to do to beat their own people, what they going to do when they go outside the country? They got to show up and show out. We got Caitlyn here. We know if Caitlyn's here, everybody's watching. We got hundreds and millions of people watching. Hundreds and millions. <laughs> Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy, Chocolati with The Sexy Body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolati Plays. Look, we got some things to talk about. We got some things to talk about, even though the WNBA is on a break right now. Your girl, Kayla Clark, is out there on vacation time, baby. Vacation. They got pictures of her up. She's out there with her people, looking good. Anyway, we're going to talk about this Olympics. We're going to talk about what we're about to get ready to witness in the Olympic Games right now. And are you going to be watching the Olympics? Will you be watching the basketball games? We're going to talk about that, man. But before we talk about that, if you new to the Chocolati crew, to this channel, please hit that damn subscribe button. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drop videos like this one and when I drop live streams. So you'll be right there, front row, at attention, ready to hear some Chocolati speakers. I've been gone. I've been gone. I've been on vacation, man. And I'm trying to get back into a good groove as well as catch up on my, my work and things. Boy, I'm behind. I'm behind. I don't know how y'all feel about being behind, but I don't like it. I hate it. Because I can't get to do this. And I love doing this. And I know y'all love hearing from me. So here we go. Here we go. The Olympics. Who's watching? No, for real. Who's watching the Olympics, the basketball games? I think the women just went against Germany. Beat their ass too. What was it, like 89 to 57? Right? You mean to tell me that Kaylin couldn't have played on that damn team? I... I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. But if I have to do it, and I know I'm going to have to do it during this show, because there is nothing that you can say that can convince me that this woman shouldn't have been on that team. Here's something I want y'all to think about, right? When it comes to the amount of games that these women are playing. Kaylin just came out for 45 games in college, straight into the WNBA draft, and then right into preseason. She has no time off. And then they played the most grueling 11 game stretch. For a WNBA season that anybody's ever seen. They went against the top talent. This girl has been thrown to the fire. So people are like, she got to get her legs back. She's tired. And going over to the Olympics, that wouldn't have benefited her at all. These women don't stop, guys. These women don't stop. They continue to work even when the season is over. They work before the season because they don't make enough money there. They go overseas and play basketball too. That's why Brittany was in trouble that time. Remember Brittany was over there locked up in Russia for 10 months? Her ass was over there playing basketball. And the whole thing was saying that these women shouldn't have to go overseas to play basketball. Yeah, y'all have to. Yes, y'all do because y'all wasn't making no money. But guess what? Y'all is now. Y'all are about to make the most money that y'all ever have. They starting a big three league right now that Nafisha uh, Thomas, is it her name? The one that's in the Olympics with the damn plantar fasciitis and uh, Brianna Stewart. They started their own three on three league. It said the women can make $100,000 a year. $100,000 a year. That is $25,000 more than what Caitlin will make this year with her WNBA contract. They make $75,000 a year. They don't make no damn money. So they got to go get off season jobs. Y'all got to go get off-season jobs just so y'all can make ends meet. That shit is terrible. Y'all don't have no time off at all. So you see, guys, Kaylee wouldn't have had no time off. And I think she'd have been just fine if they, because she don't have to start every game. She don't have to. Hell, she, in fact, that she don't even have to play sometimes. So what are the excuses? You said she wasn't good enough. You said she wasn't ready. They went out there and they beat Team USA ass. They beat their ass, ran the ball all up and down their ass. She's young. She's 22. You're talking about like she's 35. She's going to be tired. She ain't going to be able to do it. This ain't no this ain't no old woman like Diana Taurasi. This ain't Dinosaur Taurasi. Dinosaur Taurasi is 42 years old. This is not her. This is not. Was it Brittany Griner? Brittany Griner's 33. These are some old ladies out there. These is some old ladies y'all got out there on that basketball team. You mean to tell me that she can't go out there and play with them? She got way more energy and speed than they do. 
Are you kidding me? That's why they beat their ass. That's why they beat their ass. And you know what? Y'all fumbled. Y'all fumbled. I don't know if they, they turned around and asked her in the end. Because if I'm Caitlyn, nah, screw y'all. Y'all didn't want me before. Y'all want me now. Why? Yo, why'd y'all wait so long? Y'all should have... Why y'all put out a list of people that y'all want on this team before the season even start? You got people on the list that's hurt. What the hell you talk? What, what are y'all doing? And, and, and you want to run the same format that y'all did when Enrique beat y'all behind? Enrique beat their ass out there. Shouts out to that girl. Did y'all watch that All-Star game? I didn't talk to y'all about this on the video. I talked to y'all about this on some lives. But that, that All-Star game was the best All-Star game I have seen in the last five to ten years. Any All-Star game. I'm talking about Pro Bowl. I'm talking about the NBA All-Star games. NBA All-Star game ain't been that physical since Jordan and them played, since Kobe and them played. Now they just out there shooting up half-court three-pointers back and forth, scoring, a, scoring 200 points in the game. This is stupid. Nobody wants to see that. Where's the action? That's why everybody tuned in to watch these ladies play. It was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. And dig this, guys. Dig this. Do you know how many people watched this All-Star game? Because I had a question. I had never watched the WNBA All-Star game until this one. Ever. And I'm like, damn, this is exciting. I wonder if it's been like this for all All-Star games. And people in the comments talk about, yeah, you didn't know. All the All-Star games been like this. You, you behind. I'm like, for real? They was like this? I missed, I missed out on this? Y'all lying. Y'all lying. So I go and look at the attendance for these games. 3.4 million people watched the WNBA All-Star game this year in 2024. 3.4 million. It peaked at 4 million. 4 million people was watching this game. You know how many watched this game last year? Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? 855,000. And it peaked at 955,000. Look, the math ain't mathing, guys. This shit ain't adding up. 3.4 million with a peak at 4 million to 855,000? At a peak at 955,000. What, what do you think was going to happen when Caitlin Clark came out there on the USA team? I got people who watch this show from Sweden. From Sweden. And they told me personally that they came to watch Caitlin Clark play. This woman said that she would even bought tickets to go watch a play in person in Paris that she was playing. Who the hell is in charge over there? Who let this happen? Is it Cheryl Revis? Are you a part of this clan? You guys are the most ignorant people I have ever seen in my life. In my life. That y'all cannot accept the fact that this woman is literally... Rose the WNBA up from the grave, from the grave. I don't care what y'all were talking about from 2022 to, to right now. We talk about a 400% increase. Ooh, you don't think that people would have been tuning in from everywhere to watch this USA Olympic basketball game? I ain't watched no damn Olympics basketball games for females ever, ever. This is going to be the first time. This is going to be the first time that I ever watched an Olympic basketball game with the women in it. The first time. You got the same women from last time. I don't want to see them. They didn't want how many gold medals in a row? Seven. They didn't want seven gold medals in a row. You mean to tell me you couldn't put this one girl? You, you, should, you could have put Angel out there. You know what you could have done? You could have scrapped this whole damn team and put the all-star team out there because they the ones that look like they the winners. They look like they the A-team, not y'all. Y'all look tired. Their mission was to go out there and beat y'all ass. So you know what that means? That team is hungry. They are hungry, they're young, and they're competitive. And if they're willing to go and do anything they got to do to beat their own people, what they going to do when they go outside the country? They got to show up and show out. We got Caitlyn here. We know if Caitlyn's here, everybody's watching. We got hundreds and millions of people watching. Hundreds and millions. Hundreds and millions. It's, it's an actual fact. You've seen it from the viewership. 855,000 last year, 2023. 3.4 million this year, 2024. What you talking about? Everybody's watching the Olympics. They ain't watching that shit now. I done had people tell me they not. I ain't finna watch that for what? It's the same thing from last year. Do you understand that the WNBA would be the same product from last year had Caitlyn not been there? I wouldn't have been watching it. 
when you look at those games, you see that there's 10,000 more people that's in attendance because that's all they can fit in the stadiums. More would come if the stadiums were open up. Make them bigger. They got tickets right now, guys. They got, they got tickets to the Dallas game. The Dallas game, I think, is on September the 1st. I said I was going to go. You, you, you messing with me now, though, Kalen. You really screwing with me. $500, $500 to get in the damn building. $500. How did this happen? How did this happen? Kalen, that's how it happened. You want to know what your money was going to come from? You, you ever had an idea where your money was going to come from? It was going to come from her. That's who it was going to come from. Kaylin Dam Clark. Congratulate her. Thank her. Stop being dickheads. Because the reason why that y'all not getting the, the, the glory that y'all think that y'all should have is because you keep pissing on the one thing that can bring you that glory. And you know what? I used to look at Asia and be like, damn, I feel sorry for her because she's kind of in the middle of this, right? Because there was thought to have been an agenda. There's thought to have been an agenda. I said this in a lie, but I want to say this in this, this video because this video is short so you can get to this part, if you get to this part. Everybody thought it was an agenda. They thought it was a librarian uh, agenda. It's not a librarian agenda. It's not. Because there are straight people that go to that library. So you mean to tell me they both want the same things? That's not what it was. This is what it was. Is that... Those women want to be seen and heard and they never have, were seen and heard. And finally, when they're being seen as one person, y'all know how women get. We did it with women right now. They caddy. So they pissed off. It ain't that one B. It's all of us B's. Not that one B. It's all of us. That's how they that's how they talking. And they can't take it. I'm telling y'all, they bitter as hell and they old. They bitter and they old and they not letting it slide that they've been doing this shit way before Kaylin got here. That is the scenario, guys. That is the scenario that they keep trying to paint for y'all that this shit was live before she was here. Arike is trying to tell y'all something. Arike ain't she. Arike like, fuck it. Y'all don't want to. Y'all didn't want to have me in 2021. Y'all don't want to have me in 2024 either. Let me go out here and bust y'all head real quick. This is what y'all dealing with. People, Arike was trying to tell y'all three years ago. Kaylin ushered in this new viewership that saw what the WNBA is. It's politics. It's politics. And Asia is one of those people, right, who's just good enough. Hell, she's better than all of them. So it's like you got to choose a side, Asia. If you choose Team WNBA, then guess what? The majority of the league is going to come down on you. So she chose the Olympic squad. She chose the Olympic squad because she don't want to deal with that firing squad. She don't want to deal with that. Everybody that you see up there that was talking crap about Kaylin, they don't want to deal with the, the higher ups that are going to bring all that pressure down on them. Well, hell, let Kaylin do it. Because you know what Kaylin got that the mother people don't got? She got the voice of the people. Kaylin took control of that All Star game, and them people believed in her. They really did. I, uh, people like Arike, she's happy because y'all got the star drop 34 points and break that record. And see a person that should be on that, w, on, on that Olympic team. She was snubbed. How y'all make a list before y'all get to see the people play? That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Screw these lists. Stop making these lists. Because it don't make sense. No list makes sense without Caitlyn on it right now. Especially since she is, has a commanding position to solidify the rookie of the year with all the stats that she is leading in. She, she's leading all rookies in all stats. There's nothing you can say to me that would say, hey, pick anybody else over Caitlin to get the rookie of the year. Nobody. Stop playing. Don't do that, Angel stuff. Stop, stop, stop. Look, we're 12, 57 in. I want y'all to get to the end of this thing. If you get to the end of this thing, I want to hear y'all say, Tweety, are you with me? I got this Tweety Bird shirt on. It's the Olympics for the Olympics. I love track and field part of the Olympics. I can't wait to see that boy Noah Lyles run. I want to see him do that double. The 100, 200, that boy's live. Noah Lyles, Noah Lyles is the truth. Noah Lyles is the truth. I can't wait to see that boy run. I want to see what, um, what's old girl, uh, Simone Biles. I want to see what she's going to do this year, too. I hope she got her mental cleared, man. Like, that's, that's some serious business. And big ups to her. Props to her, man, for withdrawing herself to deal with her mental health. A lot of people are suffering mentally, and they don't know what to do, where to go. They don't know to have the resources. I'm here to tell you right now, it's, it's a hop, skip, and a jump away. I'm skipping a jump away. You can get on the phone and dial zero. You know, I'm going to put somewhere in, in the comments around here that you, these numbers that you can call for, uh, to get mental health, mental health care because we need it. When you come here, you're going to get a mental health message too because I was a person who was suffering, suffering bad from major depression. Ooh, I was suffering bad. And if you continue to tune into this show, we're going to talk about ways to overcome that as we continue to talk about Caitlin, who got snubbed. We know she did, her and Jalen. I want to talk about Jalen, but I'll talk about Jalen tonight.
I got a surprise live coming for y'all boys. Y'all ready for that? A surprise live. We're going to open up these Olympics. We probably watch it together. Let's watch the opening of the Olympics together. Us guys, let's do it. Whenever it comes on. Guys, I thank y'all for tuning in. Once again, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button to become a part of Chocolaty Crew. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drop videos like this one and live streams like the one I'm dropping tonight. Tonight. Oh, okay. That's enough. <laughs> I, look, I really missed y'all guys. I missed y'all. If y'all missed me too, y'all made to end this video, put some hearts in the comments, bro. I really, really missed y'all, man. I love y'all. We get we making it together, guys. I see y'all tonight in that live. Peace.